just want to say we're here. I'm here with my wife, and I say Happy Mother's Day to everyone in the South Asian community. We honor our mothers. It's a fun and fundraising dinner at the Mumbai Grill Indian restaurant, and the guest of honor is hard to miss. Bill de Blasio is six foot five, wearing a garland, and tonight is stumping hard for support from South Asians, one of many communities he must win over if he hopes to be mayor of New York City. This is Stephen Farrell reporting for the New York Times in Jackson Heights, Queens. And I have fought for the outer boroughs because I'm an outer borough resident myself and I've seen a pattern in the Bloomberg administration of favoring Manhattan over the outer boroughs. As a white middle-aged man, Mr. de Blasio fits neatly into a gallery of New York mayors of decades past. But a rival bill, Thompson, is vying to be only the second black mayor after David Dinkins. And the city council speaker, Christine Quinn, beat Mr. de Blasio in their last head-to-head -head contest, a fact that his rivals don't let him forget. You know, the only difference between Speaker Quinn and Bo de Blasio is Speaker Quinn's been more successful. They made the same promises to the same people. She got elected speaker and Bill's never gotten over it. Ouch. That got the live bloggers' attention. I want to tell you a little bit about Bill de Blasio. In need of minority votes and facing a strong woman opponent, it is no accident that Mr. de Blasio's African-American wife, Sherlene McRae, his son Dante and daughter Chiara have featured prominently in his campaign. I present my husband and New York's next mayor, Bill de Blasio. It also helps that he has, courtesy of Charles Dickens, produced the only memorable slogan of the mayoral campaign. Are increasingly becoming a tale of two cities. 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 A, tale of two cities. a few good polls mean nothing. Mr. de Blasio may have peaked too early. But some analysts believe he could, could win the Democratic nomination. Bill, over a long period of time, has shown a deep commitment to minority communities in New York City, and certainly his personal life reflects that. But he's also appealed to more conservative outer borough voters. The route to victory is going to be somewhat circuitous, I think, but the path is definitely there. Circuitously, the months of campaigning have taken him north to Washington Heights, this time wooing the Dominican community. Hey, I'm Bill de Blasio, soy... North again to the Bronx, south to Williamsburg with an affordable housing plan, and further south in Brooklyn, this time protesting plans to close Long Island College Hospital and getting himself arrested doing so. Some derided this as a stunt, but it got attention and did no harm winning him a Nurses Association endorsement. One telling moment on the campaign was in Harlem during a debate on how to help less affluent New Yorkers. A 22-year-old Guatemalan-born car wash worker cut to the heart of what everyone was actually there for. As he headed home to Jamaica, Queens, we asked Mr. Gomez which of the candidates' answers impressed him. But whose statement did he mean? His response won Mr. de Blasio points for policy, less so for name recognition. 